So this question is a simplify question. Simplify questions are always between one and three lines long. So this one's only one line long. It's just a quick way to know that you have a simplify question. And the other component of simplify questions is that you will have an equation or an expression. In this case, the equation. So what I'm going to do is take, I'm going to write down this equation for x plus 1 equals 16. The question says if 4 times x plus 1 is equal to 16, what is the value of x plus 1? Now the absolute easiest way to simplify and get the answer here would be to divide by 4 on both sides because in doing so the 4s would cancel out. You'd be left with practically x plus 1 and that would equal 16 divided by 4 which is 4. So the answer would be 4. Right, so let's make sure we're reading the question carefully. The question does not ask us to solve for x. It asks us to solve for x plus 1. Right, and x plus 1 is already isolated here inside parentheses. So I'm just trying to remove this 4, right, by dividing both sides of the equation by 4. Had you not noticed that, there could be some other things you can do here. You could definitely distribute the 4 across the parentheses and do all the normal stuff that you would do you would just then have to make sure that you added 1, because if you don't add 1 to the x, you'd end up with 3 as an answer, right? So just be careful. It's another strategy that I call read the question carefully. And notice even the underlining of the x plus 1. I do that when I'm taking a real test, even, because my mind is so used to just solving for x all the time, that I want to make sure that as soon as I read something that's out of the ordinary, that I mark it so that my mind remembers, hey, you're not solving for x. You're actually solving for x plus 1 in this case.